what's up youtube viewers and subscribers thank you all for liking subscribing supporting my movement on youtube it's been nothing but love and support from you all and you all really do keep me going so i've got nothing but good consistent content coming now this one is all about a time when i was robbed by eight gang members and i was coming back from school I was only 12, no older than 13, and uh, I was on a double-decker bus. And as soon as when this bus hit the destination called Catford Frontline, if you know, you know, if you don't, you don't. As soon as when the bus got to that uh, destination, that was when the group of gang actually got onto the bus. And then, you know, when I seen them getting onto the bus, I didn't have enough time to get up off my seat, then to be going downstairs. All I was gonna do is attract attention to myself. And, you know, I felt like I didn't have to do that because, you know, I was coming back from school and so forth, you know? so anyway let's get into it now they came up and proceeded upstairs all eight of them surrounded me i had you know three or four of them to the right hand side of the back of the seats because i was right at the back of the bus in the corner to the left and then i had two in front of me and then another two in front of the back of the other seats as well and the guy to the right of me pulled out this big rambo knife and he pointed it to my leg like literally put the, the blade to my leg and i could feel the pressure and the point of the blade sitting right there on my leg so i'll never forget that and you know he then proceeded to ask me where i was from where i was going who i knew what i had on me and then you know he robbed me well they all robbed me took my little phone and the 20 pound that i made from selling sweets at school and you know so they took all my stuff and then on top of it after taking my stuff they all asked me if i wanted to be a part of their gang now i was still young at the time so i was you know but then i was thinking to myself no they're not being serious but no they were being deadly serious and then that's not even you know one of the like you know the, the craziest things as well the next one is the guy that had you know the rambo to my leg he then proceeded to ask me what size trainers i was now because i had you know street wise uh, smart thinking you know street wise in me um luckily enough i was quick enough to look at his trainers and then say two size you know smaller than his so you know now i look back you know that was a little bit of ignorance of me because really i, I should have gave my trainers if i had to for my life as well but you know that was my point of you know going i'm not taking off my trainers you know because that that's just you know like too far but um yeah, he then proceeded to obviously ask me what size I was, but obviously I said two size smaller, so he never took my trainers. And, you know, so it's just that, yeah, I do understand that if it's something you've worked hard for, obviously, or it's something that's sentimental or value, but, you know, sometimes in life, it's just for the materialistic things, it's not worth it for your life. You know, your life can't be replaced. And, you know, this was just my experience of sharing with you all. And, you know, the generations, it's got worse. Now, this is like, you know, 14 nearly 14 years ago so when you're looking at how long ago that was to now you know the generations are only getting worse and it's all about educating you know the youths and ourselves as well and you know just putting more you know ed awareness into the young people because nowadays you can't just walk down the street and mind your own business on your phone without you know not having to worry which is unfortunate because it's the you know the day and age that we live in but you know so yeah it's definitely i do believe that we have to teach you know the young kids to have a little bit more street sense and you know to be a little bit more aware unfortunately but um yeah i hope you all enjoy it. i've got plenty more content coming and i'll catch you on the next one stay safe and stay out of prison and stay out of gangs peace